In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 From the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a person took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Praise Lord, to you Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. 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 The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, in the gospel today, the kingdom of God that offers eternal life is presented as the central message of Jesus. Number two, in this passage, the kingdom of God is shown as a small and imperceptible mustard seed that nonetheless eventually grew into a huge tree to provide shelter for the birds of the sky. Number three, can you discern the signs of the kingdom of God in the ordinary events of your life and sense the challenges of Jesus to grow and become his instruments of proclaiming the good news to all people? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So today's gospel is about the parable of the mustard seed. No, uh, it it's saying that everything starts in a small, a small thing, as even as small as a mustard, the as a mustard seed. A mustard seed is na pakaliit yan, very very small. I think that's the smallest seed. And then everything in us, everything starts uh, starts uh small start small just like a mustard seed and then and then it will grow according to our faith it will grow okay i have i have uh, read in one of the uh, homilies no i have read na we are the mustard seed we are small we start we we start small we are small like a mustard seed but it depends on our faith to let it grow, our faith to, to to let ourselves grow and grow and grow and be fruitful and provide shelter to other people. Shel shelter is like refuge, no? So the lessons here is like be patient because the transformation in us, the transformation is a slow process. Just like when you plant a mustard seed and then and then you wait. And then it will just grow with, with your faith. It will just grow and grow until it becomes a big tree and provide shelter. So ang shelter dito is refuge, refuge natin. So now, now the question is, um, have we have we uh, have we made a difference in other people's lives because of this? We started as a mustard seed, and then we follow the gospel. Uh, sometimes we we either by words or by action, no, we uh we set an example. We we relay, we share, um the the word of God, no. We share the word of, of God until until such a time na um 
you know, have we have we made an impact to other people's lives? Because we started very, very small. So let's think about it. Have we done something? No, have we done something? Uh, that 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 have a cost um an impact in other people's lives. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yeah. So, please go ahead, oh, Dita Helen. Oh, oh. The birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Oh. A seed can be easily be eaten by birds, but if it grows to a bush or tree, birds can seek shelter on its boughs. As an image of the kingdom of God, we are reminded of how great things begin from the smallest beginnings. Would we not feel small when we encounter the lives of the so-called spiritual giants, men and women so devoted to sanctity, who lived ascetic lives and rigorous, rigorously prayed before the Lord. Men and women saints were gifted by God with special abilities that display the holiness they have acquired. We should not feel left out, though. We carry little mustard seeds of faith that will grow tall and strong and will shelter many birds. God's kingdom begins with the little strides too. We will not be left out when we nurture the little seeds of faith. We need only to be patient for the amazing things to unfold before our eyes, things brought about by faith in our lives. Amen. 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 Thank you, Tita Helen. Welcome po. So more or less the same, no? Na everything starts small. small. No matter how small. Oh. The invisible. <laughs> invisible. We cannot see. Just like yeah. the yeast. No. Just like the yeast, but invisible. Um, It's like God working in us, no? It, that we don't see. Sometimes we don't see. Sometimes we don't feel, no? But but it keeps on growing. Basta my faith lang tayo. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? In the, I... Yeah. The same, the same, message, the same uh, message, no? Oh, the same message. You said patience, yes. It requires patience. Because you have to wait. Dian Minama Dali. You plant the seed. You plant the seed. You water it. Fertilize. Ate. And only God can make it grow. The important thing is you plant the seed. In your heart, in other people's heart. And God will... Make it grow. But others don't allow God's kingdom to take root in their hearts. They prepare the things of this world and God. They choose the temporary over what is eternal, the worldly over godly. We must not commit the same mistake. Yeah, that is the hard part there. You share, you plant the seed, but many are indifferent. It. We should allow God to have his to have his dwelling in our heart no matter how small. Then we have to nurture it. It is so that it could grow. Nurture it with prayers, reading the Bible and other books that would help us grow in faith. We should also strive to be present at Holy Mass whenever we could, most especially during Sundays. And of course, we should live our faith. If we would do all this, the kingdom of God would surely be upon us 
and it, it would grow and benefit others. Will you allow the kingdom of God to have a permanent dwelling in your life so that God could bless others through you? Amen. Amen. That is the part. Amen. Thank you, Tito Man. Barry, do you have something in mind? Oo, meron ako i-share, Tita. Kasi naka-attend akong mas kaninang umaga tapos um, sabi ng priest, iba naman yung uh, he emphasizes on the gospel niya. Um, two things that were um, emphasized or we can uh, we can grab so about small things and then growth. So yun talaga yung ma-focus natin sa gospel. But we forgot on the very important one which in when I reflected, iba ito kasi um, in the gospel, the seed, just when we think of the seed, we remember on, di ba, merong gospel na seeds placed in Rocky Road, in Thorny, uh -huh. like that. Uh, we're in parable. The, parable of the soil. The parable of the soil. Oh, it talks about um, the message of the Lord and how we how we try to um, put it in our life. But this time, um, in this gospel, the seed... Uh, is referring to us in my reflection kasi ang, ang sinabi ng priest we forgot na of the the woman uh, now I, I, I can relate na the woman in the gospel or this actually refers to the Lord the Lord who is the one planting wherever we will be placed so um, the woman planted the seed in the garden so in the garden, what can we see? It's not only one seed. There are many plants. Therefore, there are many people. There are many different kinds of people, perhaps. of, But it is still part of God's garden. So we are placed there. And then um, if we try to build the kingdom of the Lord, if it is really the kingdom of God, in which even in, on earth we can feel that one, there will be... Um, how how the gospel said na um, birds birds can have shelter in its branches because it grows. So therefore, if we have the kingdom of God here on earth, we will be able to gather people, and these people will find shelter, will find peace in their hearts as as they try to be with us. Um, it does not talk about only one person because, as mentioned, it's a garden. So many people, so it has to be many, it has to be a community, it has to be two or more. So it's not one only. So same with the, the yeast. So the yeast, very small, but then this refers to um, being placed no? um, in the flower and where it grew, grew also. So um, the... the what struck uh, struck me is, um, wherever we are placed in the Lord, as long as we are being obedient and we trust the Lord, Lord, where I am here because you allowed me to be here, use me. Um, may I be the person person you want me to be, whatever, uh, in my profession, in in whatever task I have in hand this morning, this afternoon, uh, this day. May this be glorify you and may I grow and have people uh, may I have people um, may I be uh, may I be the instrument your instrument that uh, I can build the king your kingdom while here on earth and that other people will also be with you and feel your love so that's how I I Reflected on the gospel for today. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, thank you, the Irene. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. No, we are the we are the seed. We are the mustard seed. And it's true, no, na we we I mean we are all we are all planted in a in the garden. And then now it depends on us to develop to develop no our transformation we need patience we need faith 
and um, our prayers, no? our prayers, and leave everything, trust everything to God to transform us. As long as as long as we have uh, we have faith, and you know, to spread the kingdom. Faith, nothing, talaga. And we so, have to really be belong, Tita, for with other people. So with so other people, huh? be with someone, two or more, in order to grow. So we grow together. Oh, we grow together. I I can I can uh, really say no. I can say na na mm -hmm. each one of us here is unique. So we are uniquely uh uniquely uh put together. No in a in a certain garden. Tapos we were planted. No, we, we were planted by the Lord. No, we were created very, very small. And then in, in, a, in the garden. And then, you know, we we grow. We meet. We grow. We glorify His name. We, uh, we, we build the kingdom of God. And we keep on growing and growing because we have the yeast. The yeast is our God. He let us grow and grow and grow. Kaya, kaya itong grupo natin, no? Tita Bell has, uh, Tita Bell has her own um, group, has her own, uh, uh, anong tawag dito? Has her own life, has her own destiny, has her own goal. Uh, she has touched a lot, uh, a lot of lives. And that and so on, Tita uh, Miga Belen, uh, Miga Belen, uh, uh, Tita Helen, everybody, no, everyone, each one of us here. And then we grow together, we grow together, and um, and and um, to glorify the Lord and to build His kingdom. And then from from each one of us, no, from each one of us, no, we we you know we spread the good news. We glorify His name, spread the good news, share to other people, and uh, we become a big trees. We become big trees that we can say na so that birds or other people can take refuge, um, uh, seek for shelters through our prayers. Seek, seek us, seek us. They're searching. And let's help. Amen. 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 Tita Bell, you have um something, eh, Father Tito. Yeah. Uh -huh. Father Tito touched on three points. Number one, the little acts of good examples, kindness, will mm -hmm. make a long way. So... He said that parents should do acts of kindness for the children to emulate because this will really shape them up when they grow, grow up. Just like there was a little boy in his school who was so amiable, so respectful, even to the maintenance staff, to the security guards. But so he, Father Tito was so impressed and he interviewed the little boy. And what was the answer? He saw his parents, how they treat their household help with respect as if they are part of family. So the little boy really grow up to be so respectful and so so loving to even to the to the household help. So the little boy when he came to the Ateneo school was also very, very respectful and very mabait daw. So see what what the parents can do if the parents will give a good example, will will uh, mentor and nurture their children like really true Christians. Then the children will also emulate them. No, so he he even said na just like in the book uh, when. Uh, uh, there was a statement there that take note, be careful with what you say because the children are listening. Be careful with what you do because the children are watching. And it's really true, no? Our children really 
emulate us. So we should set good examples and do kind deeds, good works, because this will form their minds and hearts when they grow up. And just like the, the mustard seed and the, the yeast in the uh, parable in the gospel of today, then second is the changing of the lives of other people because the little, the little acts of kindness that you do can change lives of people too. Like what Caritas is doing, Caritas Philippines, headed by Father Tito now. They have 35 out-of-school youths two years back. When, when they look at the pictures, the out-of-school youths were so haggard looking in quotation now, haggard looking. But when they graduated after two years, they have become so wonderful people. And to think that they have their 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 uh, school out uh, their classroom in not the usual classrooms, no. So they they thrive on the donations of the kind-hearted people and see what what uh, what can what have what has it done to the lives of these thirty-five children. So I also remembered the St. Anthony Boys Village, the orphans. See, see what, what the, the priest did there, Father Danny and the other rogationist priests, touching the lives of those. How many, how many students do they graduate? The orphans, those who, have, who don't really have resources to, to be educated yet, uh, it becomes the priest. Uh, the priest became. Oh, that the students became successful. Remember, remember the play that they did. Ito Mans, you you remember the drama that they depicted. Tita Flor. When, when they have the uh, anniversary. When they have the anniversary. Uh oh, I was not there. Uh, it was so amazing. It was so amazing because. What they depicted in the play is what really happened when they entered the 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 school. Although there were some from the start, no, from the start, from the very beginning. But uh -oh. when they were so, when they were so innocent, when they were so so pitiful, and some were even bullied by other other students, oh, no, very typical until they, scenario until they graduated. <laughs> One became a manager of a very big and successful company. Oh. Success stories ba? So oh. I, I, I remember this number two of Father Tito, the out of school youths. No? Then the third is the multiplier effect. The multiplier effect is when you plant a seed, the seed will grow and becomes a big tree wherein the birds can rest and then shelter. Uh, can take shelter. Take so shelter. it's just like it's just like the the good deeds that you're doing. Sometimes we just take it for granted that we have done good good deeds. Then we never realize that we have touched the lives of these people, and these people became good in terms of being spiritual. Became spiritual. Became good in their education they have bettered their family lives they have improved the economics of their family because good you citizens. did something like you you gave you gave a scholarship for the student and they then become successful. they became successful in their own in their own lives so they now went to to london they went to australia and you, you really oh. <laughs> planted a seed, no? So that's the multiplier effect of the two parables. The mustard seed. The mustard seed is one to two millimeters only. Yeah, very, and very see, small. Uh -oh. And see what, how it becomes a big tree. Tra tra transformation. Oh, transformation. Have you seen the, have you seen the, 
the mustard tree. It's so big, no? And the seed uh, is so small, lang. so little. Huh? Ang 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 uh, seed is very the, the smallest smallest seed yata eh. Yeah, smallest, one to two millimeters. Oh, oh napakaliit. Kaliit. And then and I remember I remember the tree we're in. Uh, was it Matthew who cried? Because uh, the building that he built collapsed and Jesus... Oh. Was it? Was, ah, was, was, Nathanael. No, it's, it's not, it was Nathanael. Nathanael, yeah, no? It's not... It, yeah, Nathanael, not Matthew. Nathanael, and then oh. it's, I think it's the other three, hindi, hindi mustard. Hindi mustard, hindi. no? Ano, ano nga yung sycamore? Ano, ano nga Parang, parang ganun ang mustard. Uh, parang ganun ang ang tree pa, parang bush ba because I remember uh, the the tree where where Nathanael was crying oh, he was crying <laughs> was crying all alone by himself <laughs> fig, fig, no? fig, fig. Uh, a fig tree fig tree yun a fig tree pala fig tree, oh. ah. oh. fig tree. Oh. so Father Tito cited an, a statement which we really they touch me. The success of a company depends on the small number of people who are so committed and believe that they can change the society or they can change the company. So when I had a meeting with the training officers this morning and one or two said, I'm going to give up. I will re I will resign doc because I'm so frustrated. I I cited to them the the statement of Father Tito and his family, and they were saying, "Yeah, it's true." <laughs> I hope I I change their minds <laughs> of resigning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> reality, yeah. reality. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Bell. Oh. So, so, in other words, no, how we touch a life because we 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 started as a as small as a mustard seed, no, and I think uh, at at the at this stage and uh, age in our life, no, um, hopefully, no, and prayerfully, we have touched and we have transformed some lives and make a difference in their life also. Their lives, yeah. Oh. Amen. So it's very, it's very important, especially spiritual, spiritual, spiritual life, Nila. Oh. Oh, especially spiritual life, and uh, of course, uh, other achievements. No, now we cannot just ignore because it. Um, uh, for example, itong gin sabi mo dun na um, this a, a successful, a successful intern. Of mm -hmm. that of the San Antonio village, you no, know, a successful intern will transform the life of his self, his family, yeah, himself, his family, family, his community, community, and he become um um good spiritual um you know spiritual uh, he will lead a good spiritual life and a good citizen, a good citizen, citizen of this society. I remember the mayor of. What's, who is the mayor, Tita Bells? The mayor there who was the special guest of Father Danny was a student of St. Anthony's mm. Boys Village. Ah, and he, he is now the mayor. He's now oh, the mayor. Wow. I think he was the one who donated the new vans of the, the school. Oh. Oh. And very young mayor, very young mayor. See? A student, a, gra a graduate, oh, oh, a graduate transformation. Of, Kasi that's very, the multiplier effect. Oh, oh, oh. That, that, that's the that's the qualifications of uh, being accepted in a boys village. You have to be, you know, uh, very 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 poor, but this you are uh, you um ano tal dito poor but deserving student. But but I think the mayor, uh, is an External, no? Uh, I think he I graduated from college. Mm. From college there. 
Basta he's he's the, uh, he's one of the he's one of the alumni there. If I remember right. Tito Mans, can you remember? That yes, the mayor sir, the tall like, guy? Tapos oh, graduate siya sa oh, naka-mute ka Tito Mans. Oh. Good name, good name, guys. I remember, pero hindi ko matandaan yung name. Oo, hindi ko matandaan yung name. Mayor nga siya. Mayor siya. Very young mayor. Nandun siya. Nandun siya. He attended. Yeah. So, beautiful message of today's gospel, no? Well, of course, as usual. Oo. So, I think that's it. Who... Um. Anybody else who has uh, something to say or something to share? So I think that's it for today's uh, gospel and reflections for today. And thank you very much for joining. Thank you for sharing the piece of your thought. And uh, let's make a difference in somebody somebody's life. Lives. Amen. 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 Tita Flor. Okay, our closing prayer. Dear Lord, when we experience grief, it fails us through our heart, will never heal. We know that your love is behind our understanding. We have faith that you will bandage everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as it was was in the beginning, beginning, now and and now, now, and ever shall be, world world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.